Hey everybody, this is Phoenix Down, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time, a lot of things went down, so I'm just going to give you the clip notes of the important things. Basically, Chrono died, the Prophet was actually Magus, Lavos awoke and destroyed the Kingdom of Zeal and pretty much rearranged the face of the entire planet, 13,000 years in advance from the scheduled apocalypse. We arrived at the last village, the refuge of the survivors of the Enlightened Ones and the Earthbound Ones. And then we were abducted by Dalton and taken to this place, and we haven't quite figured out where we are just yet. But I do know that all of our equipment is gone, except for Ayla and her fists. Ayla's, Ayla doesn't carry weapons, so you can use her to fight, that's why she's in the party now. But anyway, let's figure out where we are, let's climb this ladder, and oh crap, step back from that ledge, my friend! Eek! Sky! Sky! The sky! Okay, I see where we are now. We're on board the Blackbird. Yeah, if you remember, uh, that was parked, it was something that Balthasar created. And when we first met Dalton the first time we went to the Kingdom of Zeal. So now we are on board a giant flying airship. This is like Skies of Arcadia. Now that I think about it, uh, Dalton's design is kind of like, he looks like somebody out of Skies of Arcadia. He's got an eye patch if you ever look at his actual, like, artwork and everything. It's hard to tell with his sprite. But anyway, Ayla has noticed that there's a breeze coming from over this way. So we can actually come up here and, like, climb into the ventilation shafts. Or we can do another approach where we uh, knock on the door and we got a guard on the other side. Serves them right. Without weapons, they're powerless. What shall we do, Marley? So uh, let's, uh, let's act sick. Oh, I get it. Get the guard in here. Ow! Barely button. Pain. Oh! What's wrong? Froggy punch! You fool! Frogs haven't belly buttons. <laughs> I, I, I just love that. I, I specifically made sure that frog was in that position so I could do that line. Now you can just exit through this door and get into a fight with some enemies. So let's uh, do battle with this robot here. Unfortunately, the only character that can do anything at all is Ayla, because the other characters do not have their weapons or equipment. So all right, we defeated the bite. And she's the only one that will gain experience as well at this point, but if you go back in here, I'm actually going to climb up into the ventilation system. And you notice all these little grates here, we can actually uh, view what happens below us by hitting the uh, talking button and you can see what lies in wait outside of rooms or if a certain room has what we're looking for. In order to get everyone's equipment back you actually have to come up into the ventilation shaft at some point even though if you have Ayla in the party you can fight enemies and work your way through. Anyway, I think it's this way. Alright here we go. So let's check this vent here. Ooh there's a sleeping guard and a treasure chest there. I don't know how he got in there or what this room actually does. Maybe this guy was being punished and he's like passed out from like oxygen de deprivation, I don't know. But if you open this chest, we got Marley's equipment back. So now if Marley can join in on the action, you'd think that they'd be able to join in the action because they have spells too, but for whatever reason, that's not a thing. I'm gonna head back to, uh, well, there's one thing I wanna show you guys while I'm up here first, and then I'm gonna head back to the room that we started in and work my way through there. Because that's, that doorway is very close to some of the, our equipment and whatnot. If you go straight all the way down here... Hey you! Wait, what? So, uh, I'm curious what's going on down here. They change epoch! What the, what are you guys doing with our time machine? Me thinks he can't just tinker with another's possession. Shh, come on, quiet guys. Pay close attention to what you're doing. This will be my royal air throne. The world now belongs to me. <laughs> so uh, apparently Dalton is up to something with the epoch. So uh, well, we'll have to deal with that when we get to it. So let's head back this way. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna check what's up here first. This might be one of the uh, rooms that I need to go to. So yeah, that'll be uh, outside that. Yeah, I'll just come down through here. And whoop. And we have some guards here. Hey, you! 
And we have a new enemy, the Basher. So I'm just gonna have Ayla and Marley go at, go to town on these guys. These guys are much weaker than the enemies in the Ocean Palace. Especially since, uh, you know, they're taking into account the fact that, you know, you might not be able to do uh, a whole lot against them. And Ayla learned a new tech, the Tail Spin. And learned a dual tech with uh, Marley, the Twin Charm. Uh, I guess uh, they haven't been in the same party for a while, or ever. So they're learning their dual techs. Alright, we have ourselves another bite. Now, I got lucky before with Ayla because she scored a critical hit right off the bat, but I'm going to have Marley hit this guy with ice. Because these guys are more res more susceptible to magic than uh, physical attacks. It'll usually take maybe two physical attacks that aren't critical hits to take this guy down. And if you run into like the guards without any equipment, and you don't have Ayla in the party, they will just send you back to the room that you started in. And in this chest, we got Ayla's equipment back. All right, hey, I'll take it. I was hoping for frogs, but we need Ayla's stuff now, too. She Now she has defensive power. So let's see, I want to go across this way. Dodge the robot. And now just take me back up to the vent. Whoops. What are you doing over there, man? <laughs> I was not expecting that. That was funny for all the wrong reasons. Let's go into this room here. And let's uh, figure out what treasure is in this box. Alright, we cleared those guys out. And in this chest, we got our money back. Alright. Now we can buy some new equipment for Frog. Sorry, Frog. Let's just get out of here. Nah. Dodge this guy. Can't remember if I've been in this room or not. Oh, this is where we started. So now if you toggle this switch, you can change the direction of these conveyor belts to, to adjust which direction you can go. And in this room... Holy crap. I think we found the break room. Sorry guys, I'll just go back this way. Alright, Marley and Ayla both gained levels from that battle. Now I'm gonna go back this way again and see what's on the other side. Yeah, you can't access the room Dalton's in through the, uh, at all, really. That's like a totally different separate area of the Blackbird we can't access. Anyway, we found another treasure chest and, a mo and some guards. So what do we have in here? We got Frog's equipment back. All right, all three party members can join in on the action. All that's left to find now is our items. If you find the items before you find the, uh... Before you find any all your character's equipment, you can actually, if you have like weaker stuff in your inventory, you can actually equip your other characters with stuff as well. So it's not a, so you can actually start using every member of the party that way. Let's see, I want to go down here. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna climb up this door, go through here, just slip by. Nope, not so lucky. They're not wearing their blinders today. All right, ale or. Marley and Frog learned a new dual tech, the Ice Water Attack. And that's nothing I care about. Let's check this way. Oh boy. Alright, Frog leveled up from that battle. And here we have the final chest we need. And now we got all of our items back. Now that door back there is where we want to go, but there is something up in the ventilation shaft that isn't available until after you get your items back. So I'm going to go and find a way up there real quick. Namely by fighting these guys for- well, actually, haha, <laughs> I'll just slip right by. Now up here, I want to go up as high as I possibly can and then go as far right as I can. Because over here, we got ourselves another magic tab, alright. I'm going to be having a whole lot of those to give the robo the next time he's in the party. So now let's go back the way we came. I think it was this one. Drop down here, and uh, I guess for just for good measure, I'll take these guys out. All right, cleared those guys out. Now let's go over to the other side here and bid adieu to the Blackbird. Climb through this door, and I'm here in the wind. I can hear the wind blowing, and holy crap, we're on the wing! And we have these new enemies here. Before I do anything, though, I want to use uh frog to heal up the party. Let's get ourselves up at least closer to max. You have to run in order to progress up the 
the side of the wing because the wind pressure is blowing you back. But now we have turrets. And just like the rubbles back on the Mountain of Woe, these guys will lock all your items and techs. And despite the fact that Ayla hit him on the first try, they have super high evasion. And will self-destruct after a set number of turns, or set number of time, amount of time. And unlike the rubbles, these will actually attack you as well. I think it's a counter-attack, I'm not entirely sure. Alright, come on. Finish the job. Ah, Marley. He was right there, swing and a miss. Alright, Ayla with the win. Alright, and just like the rubbles, they give really good experience and 100 tech points. And Marley learned ice too, alright. We learned a dual tech cube toss and a dual tech glacier. Cube toss might be the strongest dual tech between Marley and Ayla, if I remember correctly. Oh, now we got two of them at the same time. Just up in the ante on this one. And just to, just for good measure, they're double locking everything. So hopefully we can take these guys out. I figured since I'm fighting two of them, I may, I may as well show this fight as well. Marley, that's not something to laugh about. We're supposed to hit him. Go to town, frog. No? Ah, come on. Ayla, critical hit. Because a good critical hit from Ayla would be able to finish one of them off. Ah, I should have equipped her with some counter-attacking stuff. Alright, nice shot, Marley. Ah, frog. This isn't going to end well. They're going to get away. I hope they don't both get away. Ah, crap. Nuts. Oh, man, I missed out on 200 tech points. That really bites. But alright, let's go over this way. Try our luck again. And if you want to, you can switch out your party members as well. Well, I accidentally fought two of them again at the same time, but I did manage to defeat one of them that time at least, thanks to a critical hit by Ayla. Anyway, okay, we still have one more. And after that battle, Frog learned his final tech, the Frog Squash. It does uh, greater damage on all enemies the lower Frog's HP is, so if you get him down to 1 HP when his maximum HP is 999, he will do max damage on all enemies. It's it's abusive if, you, if you're in the right circumstances. Anyway, while I'm here, I may as well uh, top everybody off a little bit. Yeah, it will be fine. And uh, let's see, okay, I already showed off the tail spin and Marley learned Ice 2. We've seen that in action before. But, you know, we also have some new dual techs. So we got Ice Water, Glacier, we got Twin Charm, which is a higher success rate of the regular charm. The ice Toss and Cube Toss, those are both pretty good. So, alrighty. I think we're good. We're at the edge of the thing, and we slide down here. What the? What's going on, Ayla? Something cometh. What's going on? Ah, crap. Not another golem. This guy's a different color, though. This must be the dreaded golem boss that Dalton mentioned before. So let's just go out, go to town with some physical attacks on this guy. Yeah, there's no real uh, strategy to this guy. Just wail away. Chew on this! Oh, he's got a countdown. Oh, boy. This is like fighting Bahamut in Final Fantasy IV all over again. Don't tell me he's going to do like a Mega Flare attack when he gets to, uh, to zero. So just go to town on this guy, guys. Nice critical hit from Ayla. He's still counting down. He hasn't done anything yet, but he's counting pretty fast, so it's probably not going to take him long. Or right, he's down to one. It's like, what is he going to do? All right, nice critical hit from Frog, nice. Um, wait, what? So he's uh, he's hesitating for some reason, apparently. And he's restarted the countdown. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just continue the course. Just wail away on him. Beat this guy senseless. He's he's counting down. 
Seems to be taking his time now for some reason. He's back down to three. Two. All right, well played, guys. We're doing well. He hasn't scored a single hit on us yet, but he's too busy doing math. Or just counting in general. The power of numbers compels you. Or something like that. Impossible, I'm scared. Wait, what? I hate heights. <laughs> so the golden boss will basically is freaking out because of how high we up we are. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I got to that point. So let's... Let's give this guy a taste of the cube toss. And frog... Let's do a leap slash. Let's take this battle seriously now. <laughs> nice. Alright, frog, go for the leap slash. Finish him off. Maybe. Nope, not quite there yet. If you wait too long, the golem boss will actually run away. Do a cube toss and another leap slash. So pick up that huge. It doesn't really look like a cube to me. It's more like a glacier or a giant icicle but uh whatever i'm not gonna argue i'm sure uh, woolsey probably didn't have access to a picture of the actual attack when he named it kind of like the whole thing about the spin cut cleave issue but all right we got some decent experience and techs tech points even though uh, frog doesn't benefit anymore Ella, don't give up so we have vanquished the golem boss and now what's going on here <laughs> It's complete. I've done it. Wait, what? Holy crap. What, what have you done to the epoch? It has wings. See these beautiful wings? Now this is a king's throne. I now name it... The Arrow Dalton Imperial. Boo. And they're gonna be my first victims. Wait, are you aware of our uh, little uh, jailbreak? Aero Dalton Imperial, engage! <laughs> no, 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 no! Pushed the wrong button there. Stop the music! Ha! There we go! Ready for takeoff! The Aero Dalton Imperial! We have liftoff, Houston! Not quite sure which one of you guys is Houston, but we're off. Whoa, there he goes. Look. So now, let's go to the, the to the front of the wing. Epox, it's flying. Ayla's just like, eh, whatever. It's not Epoch, it's the Aero Dalton Imperial. Mwahahaha, <laughs> you are excess baggage. Make like the wind and blow out of here. You sound like a fool when you say it wrong. Mwahaha, <laughs> you are like insects to me. Hepak, go now. It's all your fault. Wait, what? Chrono. Give back Chrono. Wait, are you seriously blaming Dalton for Chrono dying? I mean, if I guess it gives us an edge against him, then uh, I'll take it. But now it's time for a boss battle against Dalton Plus. Which is basically a more powerful version of Dalton, I suppose. Let's go with a Leap Slash here, and we'll do another cube... Well, actually, no, I don't think we want to do a cube toss. I think he counterattacks with, uh... With something. So I'm gonna have haste on... Well, I meant to do that on Ayla, but I'll haste up Frog as well. So every time you attack Dalton Plus, you will counterattack with Iron Orb to cut our HP in half. So I'll speed up Frog. I was going for Ayla, but Frog works too. Go for another uh, Leap Slash. Ayla, I'm going to have you do Rock Throw. So he's going to lower our HP again. Take this! And he has this weird Shockwave attack, or whatever you want to call that. So let's just, let's just chuck Dalton not right out of the seat. Go, Golem Boss! Ha 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 ha, what, what? What's going on? 
No, I don't want to get sucked into the dead zone. And there he went. So long, Dalton. May you never be relevant in this game again. And Frog leveled up from that battle. That'll work. So now, uh, who's, who's driving the uh, Epoch now? That Groundling Thief. Epoch okay? Epoch steer okay? It's like, yeah, let's, uh... Marley, me thinketh tis the Y button. The Y button, huh? Let's push the Y button. Oh, we're shooting lasers. Guess we got guns on this baby now. Whoa, boy. Well, we're doing a little bit of structural damage to the Blackbird. Then hit the X button. All right, we're hitting the X button. That was the Y. The X button actually wasn't doing anything. I had to hit the A button. And for some reason, Dalton put a self-destruct button in the Epoch. Maybe he was planned to just blow up all his minions that weren't loyal or something like that. I don't know. It's video game villain logic. It doesn't have to make sense. Yeah, justice! Delta got what he deserved! Whoa, that ship can fly! It sure can now. The wings of time has actually grown wings. Fantastic! We are actually in his debt. So maybe Dalton wasn't such a bad guy after all. Epoch in good shape. Epoch become bird. Chrono. Yeah, Marley, you've been talking about Chrono like nonstop. I mean, I get it, it's like it's recent and use the boyfriend and all that. That poor lad. Chrono strong. Chrono won't die. It's like we were kind of there. He was vapor vaporized. But anyway, next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger, we're going to see if we can find out where Chrono is, if he is still alive. So this has been Phoenix Down, and I will see you guys next time.